Hello, so I am returning this book you just don't understand and I thought I'll record a review on my way. This book was recommended in directing uh, actor's book and indeed it's very helpful for creating dialogues or if you want to create uh, conflicts between characters so even if you are not uh, writing anything uh, I think you will also realize some stuff that will be helpful in a long run like for example I will tell you a few things that I never thought before until I read this book first of all it's about intimacy so in this book it's talking about uh, how women value if they share intimate details of their lives and I'm actually kind of guilty not doing that there were some situations for example everyone is sharing some stories about their personal lives and I do not so uh, I didn't realize the effect of my actions when I was doing it but apparently uh, and now it makes sense that I mean it doesn't mean next time I will share because again I, maybe I just don't want to share but at least I should clarify that I'm not judging anyone or I don't think that yeah I can't really put it in words but I hope it makes sense so another thing is talking in a group setting and this is uh, something I also struggle if there are several people talking it's hard for me to insert what I, I'm trying to do what, what I'm trying to say and I was always blaming myself for that but in this book they kind of explain how when you were growing up and your environment and all the stuff uh, affected that so basically you need practice and all communication stuff it's about practice so that was a kind of cool thing to realize i mean this book is packed with lots of information i actually regret i was not taking notes because uh, i think there were some parts that i just forgot but yeah it's just loaded with uh, information it's not just about things between men and women it's also about the cultural differences and uh, another thing I realized so <laughs> I'm having a hard time to uh, find a podcast that I can just stick to and listen to daily and I was explaining it because the hosts kind of I don't know they just express too much ego so when they are talking so when they are talking uh, they the way they deliver information they always specify that they are hilarious and they are a cool person and stuff like that and somehow i'm not fine with that i prefer uh, humble people <laughs> in general and so in this book they say some Americans uh, make better friends with Europeans and vice versa so some Europeans find it easier to communicate with Americans and it depends uh, the way of speaking and communication styles they have and also basically how they perceive themselves and how they see themselves it's also about gestures and body language so for example i went to the cinema to watch a movie with a person and they were doing a like a exhaling and inhaling a few times they did like like that and so i i became a bit upset because i thought they hate this movie and they try to to let me know and uh, after the movie I, I confronted them about this and they said well no i was just um, 
I actually won several weeks. So I was just uh, breathing like that. It's a lot in this book about those kind of differences and I really appreciate it. So the main goal of this book is to better understand different uh, genders. But actually today, I think it's not about agendas or even about cultures, but about different kind of people. Because really, uh, especially when you're writing, so you just know yourself, right? And a uh, few people, but if you want to go deeper, maybe it's uh, better to understand some stuff that's in this book, because even if you know 100 people, you might have never thought about some details, like how they perceive it, because, yeah. And lastly, what I liked about this book is that it's very positive because it was written uh, 30 years ago and a lot of change. So it's uh, nice to realize that lots of change uh, in terms that... So you can see men are here a bit jerks. Today you would say they're jerks. But in 1980s, it was like normal men behavior. So I already mentioned it uh, in my Madoka Magica video. There are some examples when men feel very insecure, when you just ask them a question and they feel like you are commanding them. And in today, so in 30 years, this would be perceived as a toxic behavior for sure. So it's uh, really nice to see how fast society is uh, developing. So yes, I would uh, recommend this book to anyone, especially to writers and directors. Although it sounds a bit outdated, still it's a very good book and it's uh, in a public library. Actually, if there is new version of it, I would like to read. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's changing fast, so yeah, okay, thank you for watching, bye.